Welcome students. In this question, you given that f and g are two differentiable functions where f of 0 is equal to g of 1 is equal to 2 and g of 0 is equal to 0 and f of 1 is equal to 6. So you have f of 0 is equal to 2 and g of 0 is equal to 0 and f of 1 is equal to 6 and g of 1 is equal to now, in some interval 0 to 1, for some value in the interval 0 to 1, which of these should be valid? That's the question. So, now how do we do this? So, obviously, you can see that this is a question based on Rolle's theorem, right? So, in Rolle's theorem questions, you get uh, uh, terms like this. Between 0 to 1, there should at least exist some condition. So, what I do is, I'll consider, what I consider is, let us consider a function h of x is equal to f of x f of x minus 2 times g of x. Let us see what happens if I consider this function. So, if h of x is taken as f of x minus 2 g of x. Obviously, f of x and g of x are differentiable functions. Hence, h of x is also a differentiable function. And what is h of 0? h of 0 is equal to f of 0 minus 2 times g of 0. f of 0 is 2 minus 2 times g of 0 is 0. So, 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. And what is h of 1? h of 1 is equal to f of 1 minus 2 times g of 1, right? So, f of 1 is 6 minus 2 times g of 1 is equal to 2. So, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Now, h of 0 is equal to h of 1 and h is a continuous and differentiable function. Hence, hence by Rolle's theorem, by Rolle's theorem, so there should exist a c which belongs to 0 to 1 where h dash of c is equal to 0, right? Between 0 to 1, there should exist at least one value where h dash of c is equal to 0. So, what is h dash of c? h dash of c is nothing but h dash of x is f dash of x minus 2 times g dash of x, right? So, h dash of c is f dash of c minus 2 times g dash of c is equal to 0, at least for one value of c between 0 to 1. Hence, f dash of c is equal to at least 2 times g dash of c. So, this has to happen for at least one c in between 0 to 1. Thank you.